Hi everyone, welcome back. It's the Louis Vuitton Princess and today I'm in the bag room and I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my rarest Louis Vuitton bags. So as a disclaimer, when I say rare Louis Vuitton bags, I am well aware that quite a few of these bags are not actually super rare. Like they're there is another tier of super rare items with Louis Vuitton, things that are one of one, things that only came off of a runway. Um, I don't think I have any of those. So like when I say rare, I mean, these are items that are rare for a common collector, just people who collect Louis Vuitton, um, not people who are millionaires and billionaires. I'm sure they have a lot of fancy custom stuff. But these are actually rare Louis Vuitton pieces that you as kind of a regular person could buy. So let's jump in. These are always my favorite videos because again, I really love sharing people and showing people stuff that they haven't seen before. And that's one of the reasons why I got really heavily into special edition and special orders, just because I wanted to have stuff that was different from everyone else. Like I didn't necessarily see the point of spending all this money on a luxury brand just to have the same thing as everybody else. I mean, as I've said millions of times, everybody has a Neverfull. It's like, why do people still buy Neverfulls? Everyone under the sun has a Neverfull. I don't get it. So let's jump in and look at some stuff that everyone doesn't have. So the first piece I'm going to pull just because it's really standing out is my multicolor Blanc Speedy 25 fringe. This is a very rare piece, very hard to come by. You do not see these pretty much ever. Um, I absolutely adore this piece. So I've talked about it on my Instagram quite a few times, but this was a piece that I got in a trade. Um, so I did a partial trade with someone to buy this piece, I believe last year. So I've had it for about a year. It is a very rare piece. And so one of the biggest questions that I get about this piece is, did I have it fringed? No. So this is actually how the piece was made. Um, so I didn't have it fringed. And then on that same note, every time somebody always asks me like, well, what would you recommend for somebody who wants like a fringed Louis Vuitton bag? And honestly, I recommend getting something from this collection, the multicolor fringe collection, because so many of these people who do Louis Vuitton fringing, they're charging thousands of dollars. Like, <laughs> like why are you going to pay thousands of dollars to get somebody's DIY fringe work if you can just buy a Louis Vuitton bag that was actually fringed? Um, so this bag I paid $1,200 cash for um, and I traded my Zomniazure No GM and I had a Jungle Giant Bandeau. So I paid $1,200 cash and a bag and a Bandeau. I really wasn't using the bag or bandeau, so it really was no sweat off my back. So I was very happy to get this bag for just the $1,200 cash. That made me happy. Um, this is a very expensive bag, very valuable bag. Some of the features on here, they're very unique. Obviously, you see the fringe work. There are also some glass beads. Um, these are very unique. You also can see there's like this very elaborate kind of like Western themed stitching going on all over the bag that's very special and unique um also a speedy 25 feature this is the speedy 25 that has an exterior pocket that's also something that's unique and one of my favorite things about this bag that's hidden from the outside is this bag has the most beautiful interior i love it it has this like very hot pink fuchsia interior so lots of really fun things about this bag um I just love that it's different. I just love that it's unique. I just love that it's not one that you see all the time. And again, it's like lots of people have multicolor speedies. The multicolor speedy is probably one of Louis Vuitton's most popular bags ever. But you will not see too many people carrying the multicolor fringe speedy 25. The next piece I'm going to show you guys is my... Zamier Pietis mini pouchette. Um, this was a very limited spring pre-fall 2013 release. The Zamier Pietis collection came in three color variations. There's a blue, a black, and a sort of ox blood. I personally fell in love with the navy just because I feel like it just looks the best. It's so unique. The black, I felt like it reminded me too much of just the traditional Zamier bean canvas and the um 
the oxblood I just wasn't a huge fan of but the blue I just thought was so unique and so different so this piece has sequins that are triple stitched and I'll go ahead and pull up the bag too because I have both I have the bag and the pochette so this is a speedy 30 um and it came with this really cool clochette so I mean as you can see these pieces they just glimmer and shine this is another piece people ask me all the time like which artist did this for you like who custom put on the sequins or whatever no one the bag came like this um so this is another one of those very rare bags you do not see people carrying these every time i carry this and i'll show you guys the tag inside every single time i carry this bag people always are just like completely blown away by it um I typically carry my bags seasonally and as I say all the time this is usually a bag I carry in the winter I don't carry it in the summer just because I prefer to have you know some of my more vibrant pieces in the summer and this bag is just so pretty to carry in the winter I have tons of pictures of this bag out in the snow it just kind of really gives that like winter wonderland festive you know new yearsy sort of energy with all the sequins and the glitz and glam um this mini pouchette I think I paid around like 500 something for um and it's like funny because when I brought it I was like that's high for a mini pouchette well now the basic mini pouchettes cost more than that and the speedy I believe I paid like 1800 for it was definitely one of my pricier purchases um the second most I've ever spent on a bag um but you know why am I gonna let that stop me it's an absolutely beautiful completely sequined out speedy the next piece I'm going to show you guys, this was probably one of the first rare pieces I brought. This is my Louis Vuitton I Love Louis V Sac Retro, also from the Multicolor Collection. So as you can see, it features the traditional multicolor canvas and it has all of the eyes. Um, again, very heavy influences from Takeshi Murakami. This bag is pretty cool because on the inside, it actually has a number so you can see what number bag this was. So this was bag number 1000. 134 it was made in spain and you can see the i heart lv on the inside so these are also not bags that you see very often i purchased this one for i think 700 dollars some years back um and I absolutely love this bag. I just think it's so girly and so pretty and I love the shape. I love the bow, the studs, all of that very heavy Murakami influence. Again, this is a bag that you are not going to see a ton of people carrying. I don't, pretty much all of these bags I'm showing you, I've never seen anybody else carrying like out in public. And you know, I live in a sort of higher end area. So like people do carry Louis Vuitton out and this is just not a bag that you're going to see. Next, I have two special orders I'm going to show you guys. Um, it's like special orders kind of fall under rare, kind of don't. Um, but seeing that special orders are kind of few and far between now, they definitely are a bit more rare. So I have my Louis Vuitton DeVille. This was a deal. I think I paid like 500 for this. Um, but this is my Louis Vuitton Damier Abin DeVille. This is a special order piece um, that I purchased a couple of years back in 2020. Absolutely beautiful. As you guys know, the Louis Vuitton DeVille is one of my favorite bags. So I was super stoked to have it in a different print, um, even though I already have it in the monogram. And the next one I'll show you guys is my other special order piece. I did not put my special order campaign in this video. Um, again, if you're interested in seeing my special order campaign, um, I have it listed on my YouTube video. It's in one of my unboxings, um, my special order unboxing, so you can see it there. But this is my, and this one's unbuckled because I was using it recently. This is my Louis Vuitton Samir 30. This is a special order Dami Azure. This is another piece that for people who collect Louis Vuitton always sort of stands out and grabs attention because again, I've said it once and I'll say it again. I really feel like the Samir was meant to be Dami Azure. Like I've never been attracted to the Samir I'm gonna button it so you can see it I've never been attracted to the Samir personally like even when I first got into Louis Vuitton I never really liked it and then one day I saw it in Damier Jure and I was like yeah I need that like I absolutely have to have that it was kind of just made for this print and again this is a bag that you're not gonna see this one I believe I paid 1200 for a couple years ago it was pricey but very worthwhile 
This little piece is very, very rare. It's my Louis Vuitton Steven Sprouse heart coin purse. Every time I show this one, people are like, it's not Steven Sprouse. It's not limited edition. Calm down. Um, so it has the beautiful Steven Sprouse leopard on the interior. Very beautiful piece. Um, I've told the story of this one a few times, but it's honestly a piece that I kind of just stumbled across on accident. Um, I'd never seen this piece previously. So I just saw somebody posted this Louis Vuitton heart and I was like, I kind of wanted it's cute. I was like, honestly, I've never seen it before. So I don't even know like if it's real or not. Like I have no idea. But I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it. Like worst case, it's fake and I'll dispute it and deal with it later. But like, if it is real, like this is a really cool rare piece. And it ended up being real. It's one of the pieces that people ask me about the most just because it's so cute and so unique. Um, I had the hardware replaced by Louis Vuitton last summer. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. This piece I paid $200 for, which is pretty crazy because these are so rare that they sell over a thousand. Yes, over a thousand for that little tiny coin purse. Um, but they're very rare. The next piece I'm going to show you guys is my Louis Vuitton Mal Shabazz. This is the Mal Shabazz and Centenaire. The Mal Shabazz as a style is not rare. It was a very popular style back in the 1990s. Um, it sort of resembles the Hermes Kelly and I really love this style of bag. I have three Mal Shabazz. I have this one which is the Centenaire. I have the traditional monogram and I have an Epi. Um, but this one in particular is rare because it is from the Centenaire collection. A lot of people don't know about the Centenaire collection but it was a limited edition collection that came out for a hundred years of Louis Vuitton. Um, so that would have been 1996 was Louis Vuitton's centenary year. Um, seeing that Louis Vuitton was, you know, founded in 1896. So it was a collection that was made to celebrate, um, to celebrate a hundred years of Louis Vuitton. And sort of another piece of Louis Vuitton history is that a lot of people think Monogram was the original Louis Vuitton print. It was actually Damier Abin that was one of the original Louis Vuitton prints. The checkered was first. Monogram was, was created because it was a way to sort of prevent people from copying Louis Vuitton a little bit more because it was a little bit more difficult. There were more patterns, you know, there's a logo. But the original Louis Vuitton print canvas was this Damier a bean um so it was very much so sort of cool and traditional that they brought that back for the 100 years the centenaire collection has a lot of bags there are backpacks there are nose there are crossbodies but they're kind of few and far between you don't find the centenaire collection often the most common centenaire that you find is there is the soho backpack which is in centenaire that one you see a lot and you see i believe it's called the chelsea in centenaire which is a shoulder tote those you see a lot those are not super rare but these other sort of bag styles like the Malchabez, the no there's even a mini speedy like there's a lot of centenaire pieces that are very very rare and you do not see and the last bag for our rare Louis Vuitton bag tour another one I get asked about a lot is my Louis Vuitton multicolor noir sack rabbit this was one of the first bags I saw when I got into Louis Vuitton I thought it was hideous and ugly how times change um and you know some people still think it's hideous and ugly maybe you're one of those people but this was a very very rare bag and it's really grown on me and I really love it um this piece is a very very coveted piece it's worth a lot of money i had the opportunity to buy it a couple years back for 700 dollars, which i still find insane to this day because these sell for thousands of dollars as you can see it's got the traditional louis vuitton multicolor at the top and then surrounding it there is this louis vuitton um pony hair this beautiful pony hair that creates sort of a dalmatian or cow sort of effect again there's tons of hardware tons of studs it has the red alcantara lining um just an absolutely beautiful piece that i've really come to love and it's super rare and you pretty much never see it so anyways thank you guys for watching this video and i really hope you enjoyed it and again i hope i was able to show you some pieces that maybe you haven't seen before and just back to my disclaimer i know these pieces are not they're not rare one of one pieces like i am well aware of that but they are still pieces that are very rare amongst common collectors and i hope you enjoyed getting to see them so as always if you'd like to see more of my collection you can stop by my instagram at the louis vuitton princess if you'd like to shop 
source or consign with me, you can stop by Shop LV Princess on Instagram. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.